they're, they're, they're what we call a cutting and they're just a tip with no red leaves. They're all green when they come in. Each holiday season, Utah households and businesses alike are filled with robust reds, whites and pinks of poinsettias. And if you have one, there's a good chance it came from this nursery. If you look underneath, there's only one plant. There's only one plant in the pot. But because it was pinched, it forced it to branch, and each branch will set a bloom on the, on the front of it. J&J Garden Center is the largest nursery in the state, spanning 130 acres in Davis County. Its founder, Jerry Stevenson, worked with his brother to turn what began as a family farm in pioneer times to a hugely successful business. It's been a great place to live, been a great place to grow up. We're four generations on this farm. We've certainly got our... our you know, we're definitely planted in the community. Yet with all the responsibility at the nursery, Stevenson also serves his community and has done so for decades, beginning in the 70s. A mayor asked me if I'd be interested in serving on a planning commission. And uh, after I w sat on the planning commission for a few years and, and took the heat of what went on and, and goes on there, I decided I could take the heat of being an elected official and I ran for office. He later became mayor of Layton and served for 12 years. I mean, there's a lot of satisfaction in building a business and being able to watch it grow, but I think you have received that same satisfaction building a city or watching a city be built and helping in the, the proper construction of it. When he left the mayor's office, he thought his political career was over, but he got a call from the governor that set his community service back in motion on a state level. From chairing in Vision Utah to serving on the board of trustees at Weber State University, he had the opportunity to move into the legislature. I decided I wasn't uh, quite as retired as I thought I was. Now approaching his eighth term with the Utah State Senate, he's the newly appointed chair of appropriations. You get it in your blood, I believe, and it's, uh, I think you get used to being at the table where the decisions are made. What do you wish people knew about those like you who represent them at many different levels? I just, I wish they knew sometimes, sometimes just how common sense we can be. Stevenson has learned a very common sense approach and shares personal anecdotes from the farm to the capital. Things like a lesson his father taught him when, as a young boy, he planted 300 trees on this farm and only 18 survived. He was ready to throw in the towel, but his dad told him this. You know, sometimes the best place to get your money back is where you've lost it from. And I thought about it, and now I'm now look what I've got. He's learned about representing a community at the height of controversy. We need to be very tolerant of each other, and we need to, you know, we need to uh, think through things sometimes before we, before we really act. He knows the significance of what government closest to the people can provide. We need to make sure that our communities kind of have the final say because that's where that quality of life issue comes from. And that's, uh, but we've got a great process. We, we, if we want to make those changes, we have a, we have a system that airs that well. I'm, uh, I'm just pleased to be part of it. I've had a, I really have had a rich experience being involved. As he grows and harvests the plants and trees on the island of land in Layton, his city grows as well. He realizes his land may one day be covered with rooftops versus trees. But in the meantime... I really like what I do, though. I enjoy... I enjoy the politics and I enjoy the farm and I don't think I'll ever retire. I don't have any desire to retire. In the city of Layton, I'm Susan Wood for the Utah League of Cities and Towns.